Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete. And guess what? I have that one iconic sports car that can be attainable for a lot of people. This car right here, what is it? It's a 2019 Chevrolet C7 Corvette. And this particular one is the Grand Sport. But before we get into that classic front engine, rear wheel drive layout that's been around, since 1953 for the Corvette. Let's talk about what's going on here. If you go into a Chevrolet dealership today, the only option you have is a mid-engine Corvette. And I'm not gonna sit here and come up with some hogwash story about how that car is not a good performing car, because it is. It is one heck of a performer, especially for the price. But for me, getting behind the wheel it does not feel like a Corvette, and where my heart still gravitates towards is still the C7 generation because it has that classic layout. Now, what's fascinating is you can get a Stingray, just like a C8 Stingray, you could get a C7 Stingray, you could get a C8 Z06, you could also get a C7 Z06, but one model that does not exist anymore with the new C8 Corvette is the Grand Sport. The Grand Sport I felt was such a value priced vehicle because it gave you so many of the goodies of the Z06 without some crazy astronomical price. So what I wanna find out is, if you're like me and you're not gonna go buy a C8 Corvette and you're looking at the C7s, which remember C7 goes from 2014, if you could believe that, all the way up to 2019, should you go Grand Sport over a C7 Z06? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our torch red Grand Sport and find out. Right off the bat, the style. It's got that sinister wide body look taken right from the Z06. So at the front of the business, you'll notice the flat black fender flares on the front because remember we have wider wheels and tires underneath the fenders. Your course are going to get full LED lighting, no matter if you go Stingray, Grand Sport, or Z06. And then my favorite part is the front end. Nice, low, and wide. You're going to have these softball size openings for brake cooling. Everything else is fully functional all the way across that carbon flash metallic grille. You can see the lower splitter that stops air from going underneath the vehicle. And then, of course, we have that classic cross flags badge has been there since 1953. Now the funny thing is remember 53 and 54 there was no V8. The only engine available was a straight six. It was 1955 when the mighty Corvette got its small block Chevy V8. The styling you could see the direction that they went in with the almost stealth fighter crisp lines of the C7 and they brought that into the C8. But of course, what you're not gonna get on the C8 is that nice long hood. And as we rise up, you're gonna have your functional aero and heat extractor, carbon flash metallic. Love the way they have that color, balances nicely with the torch red. And of course, you're also gonna get a bulge. You're getting some bulge and that's another thing you're not gonna get on a C8. That means you gotta get your socks ready and ball them up here you got the bulge, so you can leave the socks on your feet with your new balances, of course. Now, as we swing around that wide body, like I promised you, you're gonna have some unique wheels, and these wheels are unique to the Grand Sport. Love the V-spoke design, the Corvette name stamped in, and lurking behind the wheels, we have those bright red, tomato sauce red, Corvette Brembo calipers, six piston calipers, larger rotors, two-piece rotors, just like on the Z06, on this Grand Sport. And then of course you're gonna get Magna Ride suspension all four corners. So let's think about that. It's not just about getting extra horsepower underneath the hood that gives you performance. The suspension, the brakes, the stickier wider wheel, uh, tires, that's gonna give you performance as well. Now with these Michelins, you'll notice that we have on the front a staggered setup. 19 inch wheels up front, 20 inch wheels out back. Up front you got 285 on the width, and a 30 series sidewall, and I just love the way the car sits. Now coming down the side, that classic fender vent, the Grand Sport gets its own specific fender vent, 
carbon flash metallic with the body color and the Grand Sport name. And remember, the Grand Sport name harks back to 1963 when none other than the true father of the Corvette, Zora Duntov, was able to get these high-powered Corvette race cars out the back door at GM. Because remember, the big three banned OEM factory involvement in racing here in the States. They got them out the back door. Guess who won the first race in a Grand Sport Corvette back in 1963? Maybe you heard of him, Roger Penske. Yes, you heard correct. The man who not only owns Indianapolis Motor Speedway today, but has successful teams in IndyCar, NASCAR, and IMSA. He is the man responsible for getting that first win. It actually happened in the Bahamas of all places, not Nassau. Beat the mighty 427 Cobras. A little fun fact for you. Coming down the side, I love that aircraft carrier almost style to that side skirt extension. Carbon flash metallic, carbon flash metallic on the mirror caps, on your A pillar. And then of course we have that removable roof, which I'm glad is just all nice torch red. Now another way to tell that this is a Grand Sport is you see this, this is body color. On a Z06, it's carbon flash metallic. So this is for cooling the transaxle. Remember, the engine is in the front and the transmission is in the back. What was the first generation to do that? The C5 Corvette. First generation, that was back in 19 freaking 97, a Corvette had a transaxle. Transmission in the back, engine in the front, it helps with that weight distribution. Working our way down, I like the way they have these notches for you to open up the door so no door handles whatsoever. You're gonna have more cooling that's brought in on the lower portion. And at the rear, like I said, we got 20 inch wheels. You got the real deal Brembo calipers out back as well, two piece rotors. And these tires are 335s. 335s. That's like a freaking steamroller. You got limited slip diff to get the power to the ground. And remember, with these, you could get the manual, seven speed manual or an eight speed automatic. Now, as we rise back up, we come around the back. I love the way that this one has the rear kick up spoiler, carbon flash metallic. Always love the back end of these cars, the way they did the rear glass. And then our almost traditional round tail lights on the back. You have your heat extractors on the top and the bottom. And then this rear, rear bumper area is all carbon flash metallic. We got the Corvette script with the cross flags. And guess what? Remember, we have a quad tip exhaust, that center exhaust, just like you find on the new Z06 Corvette. And it is a GM performance exhaust. So what does that mean? If you wanna be nice like Steven, you could keep it quiet. If you wanna say, who gives a damn like me? You could open them up and let that V8 roar. Speaking of a V8, let's pop the hood, not the back, the hood, and see that V8 engine. All right, guys, we got that reverse opening hood. It's been like that since 1953. The C8 is what ruined it, but I'm okay with that. Underneath the hood, you have that V8 engine. Now remember, it's naturally aspirated on the Grand Sport. What is it? It's a 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated V8, 455 horsepower. If you get a manual, it's 460 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque. This one is mated to an eight-speed auto, but you can get a seven-speed manual. Zero to 60 in about 3.6 seconds, top speed 180 miles an hour, MPG 16 in the city, 25 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs around 3,400 pounds. Now, it's interesting because looking at this engine cover, not my favorite, I am gonna zonk it, but I do like the naturally aspirated horsepower. Now, if you go Z06, of course you're gonna get more horsepower. The LT4 has 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, but remember, you gotta get that power to the ground. I feel like this is the perfect balance. The better brakes, the bigger wheels and tires, the Magna Ride suspension, and of course, a nice naturally aspirated engine. The way I would go is seven speed manual transmission, Z06. I feel like uh, unless you really gotta have the most horsepower, 
then uh, that might be the way to go. To be honest with you, you should go ZR1. That's 755 horsepower. That's one of our fans. What's up? See you soon. So it's great to, when we're filming just to have fans come by and say hello. If you ever see us, please come say hello. But back to this, you could go ZR1 that has 755 horsepower. That's more than the new Z06. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire up this Grand Sport and hear it roar. <laughs> Alright guys, we are inside this Torch Red 2019 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport. I know you're saying to yourself, well Joe, I've been looking for a C7. I am just like you. I like having the engine up front and I'm on the fence. I don't know if I should spend more money to get a Z06, but how much is this particular Grand Sport? So this particular one, the way you see it is right around $53,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. You could see how Chevrolet was getting the fit and finish better on the C7. Nice contrast stitching. You do have the Bose sound system and there's no gloss black. Decent sized door pocket, one whopper and a small fry and you're good to go. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you do have dual climate and this is what the passenger gets to control is their climate over here. The stitching is nice and then you come on in, you have an eight inch infotainment system with navigation, of course. I love the way you got the special little secret compartment with felt lining so you could put your family jewels in there and you're not gonna scratch them. Plus you got a USB-A that comes right back up. Standard AC controls. And then down below you have all your actual switch gear. I really like the way they have the Grand Sport badge here. That's a really nice touch with a Grand Sport convertible race car. 12 volt hidden. And I like the way it's nice and close because you're going to want to run a radar detector. This one has the eight speed automatic with the nice stitching. You got your different mode selector switch, two cup holders, and then semi soft material. I can't open it up passenger way. I can only open it up my way. And look what we have in here. We have a Corvette badge. This you could wear around your neck. You could wear it as an earring or if it was just a little bit smaller, you could use it as a monocle. But um, Corvette, this is what it's all about. America's sports car. And then the seats. I like the Mulan leather, the bright red. Decent bolstering. This is where you can see the difference in the seats compared to a new Corvette. That's for sure, especially with the bolstering. But you do have power assist, which is nice. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the flat bottom steering wheel in this Grand Sport. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. I love the Corvette sill plate. So much history within that name. And then the pedal box is nice. You got an aluminum dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. You got your seat controls, which are easy to get to. I'm six feet tall, and I think that's the thing that the engineers and designers at Chevrolet need an award. To get bigger people to fit in this sports car, it's actually quite simple. Steering wheel, the leather, flat bottom. I wish I had the Grand Sport name here. So that is a Zonk, but you got the cross flags. You do have your paddles to go up and down that eight speed automatic. And this is a power tilting telescoping steering wheel. And then the center, it's real simple. You got that digital gauge cluster, eight inches in the center, and then it's flanked by a ton of analog gauges. I don't understand why there's an analog speedometer. That's a little redundant, but you do have all your other gauges and information but you know what you do have plenty of cargo i'm not showing it to you because i want to go on throttle so if you're ready i'm ready let's go on throttle in this grand sport corvette all right guys we are inside this 2019 chevrolet corvette grand sport i tell you it's just one of those awesome feelings sitting back having that long hood, great visibility, classic Corvette layout. I just wish it was a manual, but we do have the eight speed automatic. It is what it is. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, bro, here we go, yeah! <laughs> nice! 
I tell you, the sound of this car. Yeah! And that's one of the things I really feel that the C7 does very well is the sound. If you take a C7 Stingray and compare it to a C8 Stingray, the C7 sounds louder, which doesn't make sense because there's more exhaust piping, but it just does. When you go Grand Sport, having the wider body, having the um, better suspension and the brakes, it just, it's the full package. And what I like about it is that it's usable horsepower. Yes, you could go Z06 and have more, but watch this. Oh, here we go. Drop down, you're off. Nice shifts. Really does a great job of getting the power to the ground out the back. And the steering is very, very precise. Very precise. And not to dog the eight speed automatic. It does a good job with the upshifts and it blips the throttle on the downshifts as well. I'm gonna put it back into manual shift mode. Using the paddles, they are plastic. The new Corvette has metal, the C8, which is a nice touch, but uh, third gear. Oh, here we go. Love that sound. On the brakes. Smooth downshift. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! It does such a great job of making you feel confident. It's planted, it's confident, it's composed. It does so many things really, really well. Really well. And then of course those massive six piston calipers are gonna shed speed faster than a husky sheds hair. Woo! It's playful. It likes to, you know, respond to your inputs on the steering wheel and to the, uh, the throttle. The only downside is that this eight speed automatic, it wants to be shifted before Redline. So Redline is right around 6,500. You need to shift it around 6,000 because I'm finding that every time I try to rev it out to Redline, it's slow shifting and it, it doesn't feel right. So just a little bit of a heads up. But the seats are comfortable. They could use more bolstering, but we've already beaten that horse to death. Uh, we continue to kick that dead horse uh, and just beat it to death because the new C8 Corvette seats are phenomenal. They corrected their mistakes, trust me. Are you ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in automatic mode. Oh, here we go. the brakes yeah Woo! <laughs> I tell you this car is nothing but the business and I personally I'm going Grand Sport over a Z06 I feel like it's a perfect balanced performer it really really is and it's got the look, and it's got the better price. That just makes sense to me, and the sound. Because it's interesting, on the Z06 Corvette, even though it's got the same LT4 as my Camaro Z01 1LE, it doesn't really have any supercharger whine that you could hear from the interior. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why people love superchargers not just the extra power but that sound i mean i think dodge proved that with the hellcats and the hellcat red eyes but we gotta get back to jaguar land rover st pete and wrap this one up so i will see you in a grand sports second guys it's been one of those exciting on throttle kind of days with a classic layout in a chevrolet corvette Definitely want to thank everybody here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete, especially Miro and Michael for getting us access to this 2019, the last year. 
last year ever of a front engine Corvette. But let me know what you think. If you're looking at a C7, do you like what the Grand Sport brings for the money or are you just gonna double down and go Z06? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Razor Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He wants to get a Corvette. He likes the C7. I could see him driving this car. Let Stephen know in the comment section if he should get a C7 Corvette. He's thinking about it. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.